Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I will be showing you the lights that I did in my last video, how they turned out. Um, I finished the door handles and I'll add some clips of them in. But my main focus for today is actually doing a design on my own lights. <laughs> so a few weeks back I did put a story up on my Instagram asking people for suggestions on what to engrave into my Odyssey lights. And from that I got a heap of really cool ideas. So I've just got them in front of me here. Some of them are a little bit hey on. <laughs> Some people suggested cats, roses and thorns or roses with thorn vines, sorry. Um, koi fish, uh, something I can't pronounce but I'll look it up. Um, chains, that's kind of interesting. Dragon Ball Z, floral design, uh, Medusa. So I'm, I'm liking those ones. Out of all of them, I think I'm going to try and do a mashup, and I think I'll do the Medusa as like the centerpiece and then try and fit everything in behind it. Um, if I get extra keen, I think I'm going to try and do an inverted engraving design too. So if you haven't seen it, I did put up a post quite a few months back of some GS300 lights that I did, and I did a cherry blossom design that I like framed off, but I essentially engraved the background and removed the background and left the flowers as the high point of the engraving so it's like basically what I do but like flipped in reverse and it's a lot more harder and intricate and super super hard to get you know the flat areas actually flat but I feel like with this it might work because if we've got a lot going on there'll be less flat areas if that makes sense and it might it might be easy, it, it might not be. I might be signing myself up for something that I'm going to majorly struggle with. But you know what? It'll be fun. It, and it'll be a new learning experience, which is, you know, I like those. I like learning some things. So very shortly, I'll go pull my lights out and I'll bring these along so you can come and watch me struggle do that. And once I have them back up here, we will start sketching them out and hope for the best. Anyway, I'll stop yapping along because I tend to do that a lot, but um, I really hope you enjoy this video and I guess we'll get stuck into these Odyssey lights. Excuse how windy it is, but this is my cork. So I just need to pull these out um, on both sides there's one strip so I think I'll just try and find a socket that fits and pull them out and I'll be back. Alrighty I'm back and here is one of my lights. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to lay out this whole design and I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I know that it's going to be a lot and it's going to be quite intricate. I've probably picked the biggest amount of things to mash into one that I've ever done before plus I'm going to do a inverted engraving design so this is going to be a challenge but lucky it's my own lights. I think this is just going to be a great learning experience to be able to offer more through my business for stuff that I'm about to do like inverted designs and whatnot. Um, I do want to offer it but at the moment I think I'm only confident offering it with more simple stuff. This will be a great learning curve and I'm pretty excited to do this. I'm going to sketch these out shortly but just to go through it again, um, Medusa which I think I will make as my centerpiece of the light. Although, I mean actually looking at this now the tricky part is going to be how to place everything. So I think Medusa I'll probably put on this side because this side you don't see unless you're on that side of the car. So I'll put the Medusa here and then basically I think everything else will just be random. Um, we've got roses with thorn vines so that's cool um, if you guys have seen my Sylvia my whole theme with that which is what started my business was roses so i went with roses and i did my front grill my tail lights and my weather shields and if you haven't seen them i will insert some photos right here to show you what they look like i 
I've got floral so floral's cool that's right up my alley I like floral I think it's it's nice to engrave um, the look of it's nice and my favorite thing about it is all the little details so I actually love doing that stuff um, and then chains which uh, it's a bit different but you know what chains are cool and I think if I can add that into this design that'll be a vibe so this will be fun and I'm actually so keen to do it so I guess I will get stuck into it and start sketching out the light and let's hope for the best <laughs> please ignore my horrible mess and I do have it leaning on my bag at the moment just because I don't really have anything else I'm a bad adult and I'm not organized for this type of stuff so this is one of my stickers and I was just going to basically I guess copy it <laughs> so yeah my oh goodness it's gonna take me ages but whatever well, this is looking horrible so far but it's fine trust the process right Trust the process. And some extra sharp eyes. I've just done a full sketch out and I'm not too sure how I feel about this but I feel like I'm still going to commit I don't know we'll see so basically I've done the Medusa as like the main focal point of what you'd see um, I added in chains <laughs> as you can see here I've just got some random chains going through with some scattered roses and a couple of little cherry blossom thingies um, just as gap fillers. I did put some stars in there too just to kind of fill some space also I'm not too sure if this even looks good. I'm a little bit iffy on it I'm really iffy on it. Down here I've also done some scattered flowers and in between I added some flames and stars So this is how it's looking um, Yeah, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if it's one of those things where I just need to trust the process, but also like it's just an odyssey, so surely it'll be fine. And like, if I don't like them, maybe I could just put them up for sale and buy some new ones, I don't know. Um, another thing I was thinking, I might frame off the edge and tint that dark. And I think I will frame off this edge and tint it dark as well. But yeah, that's the design. I'll quickly add in a close-up video now. This is what I'm going for. The only thing that annoys me about this framed off thing is that this side does not meet with this and it triggers the heck out of me. But you know what? It is what it is. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. I really have no clue, but I'm definitely going to do some form of tint art in a sense. I'm not too sure yet, but I do want to get a bit creative with tint and do something funky. And I guess today my lights will be the guinea pig for that. I have just tinted the lights. Um, please don't ask me what the heck I've done because I don't know. I started off by kind of like framing this and then I thought, okay what if i do like a fade in with the black tint so that it kind of fades into red i don't know i guess <laughs> we're just going to like hope for the best but i'm just about to pull the tape off that i applied and i guess we'll see how it looks and then maybe decide from there where i'm gonna go with the rest of this
yeah definitely going to need to go through with some thinners and clean up these taped areas because the tint has just seeped through everywhere and it's left this like messy sort of stuff behind but that's okay Okay, let me just get this into some better lighting and assess it fully. I think I hate it. <laughs> it did seem like a good idea in my head, but it looks pretty gross. So I think I'm going to sit here and brainstorm really quickly how I'm going to fix this or what I'm going to do different to make it look better. And I will come back to you soon with a plan. <laughs> All right, I've kind of decided that it's a little bit too hard to work out what I'm doing yet with so much going on. So I think I'm just going to commit to engraving it. And from there, maybe, I don't know, maybe I will, I don't know. Really, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing and kind of just making it up as I go. But I think once I have one light engraved, I'll actually be able to work out what needs to be darker and all the rest of it but yeah i'm just gonna commit and start engraving i guess so yeah let's ruin some odyssey lights um i will have to move these around a lot also so apologies if the angles get annoying but they have this big lipped edge on them that actually sits higher than my eye view so that's gonna be a problem but we'll just make it up as we go going to commit otherwise I won't Thank you. 
This is how it's looking so far. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I do need to somehow sand all of this flat and I don't know how I'm gonna do it. It's gonna try a few different things until something works, I guess. So yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
this is where I'm up to at the moment. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually not film and sit down on the ground and put the light on my lap because this area here, it doesn't really show on camera but it's so dark and I'm struggling to see through the tent. Also, I have no hand control standing up here trying to film and do that and I've just stuffed up the eyes um, while trying to film and do that. So I think I'm going to stop filming for a little bit and just try and get this in the right place where I can actually engrave it, you know, better and I will check back in soon. This is how we're looking so far and I'm not happy with this background yet. I still need to try and smooth it out, which is going to be the hardest part. But yeah, this is what we're up to. Um, I still need to do this bottom section, but I'm so indecisive on whether I want to remove the background of this one also, or just do the outline. So I'm not sure yet, but I think I'll just keep working on trying to smooth this background section and then from there, I'll probably start this and I might try and film this. Hopefully I can like flip the light so it's a bit easier to actually film it because like, I'm not even joking when I say I'm engraving on the floor. But anyway, this is how it's looking. Um, it's not too bad. I feel like I could make it look better or more me at least. So yeah, I will check back in very soon.
up the MX5 lights that I engraved in my last video. Man, are they cool. Give me two seconds and I will get them. This is how they're looking. good is this? This design has turned out so unreal and I am absolutely stoked. Alrighty, I have finished the engraving and I'm really digging the black so I decided to just go over the top section and tidy it up a little bit. And this is how it's looking. I'm actually pretty happy with it so far. I might even just go sit it on the car and see how it looks. It has been a couple days since I did my light and by light I mean I only got one done. <laughs> I've only got one engraved. Um, I did just get it back from being sealed and I know that's so weird that I only got one sealed but it's going to take me quite a while in my spare time to actually do the other light and whatnot. Um, I knew it was going to be a process that was going to take me quite a few days if not weeks so yeah. Um, I haven't done the other light yet but I'm just going to be doing it in my spare time. I did one and I just wanted to get it all sealed so that it didn't get damaged and whatever else but I will be inserting some clips shortly of it on the car. Um, it looks pretty cool and then probably in like a future upload or something I might add in some more footage of it with both of them if I get around to that um, I'm hoping I do but I am very busy. So before I end this video I thought I would talk to you guys about my apparel range. So I did just drop in a power range maybe a week or so ago and um, Everything's up on my website if you just want to have a look if you're interested if you're not it's completely fine I'm so easy about it but if you do want to support my business, these are the designs that I have available. I basically just made this range of um, outline designs that I drew up myself and they're all inspired by some of my favourite work that I've done over the last two years. So if you want to support my business and you're interested in any of these tees right here, let's go on to etchedout.com.au and they're all under apparel. I also have a tint range that I just dropped. Um, if you haven't seen what they are, this is them right here. Um, these are pretty cool. So basically, I, I do tint art a lot and I have over the last couple of years and I thought to narrow down that whole process because my engraving orders just started getting out of hand and I got way too many. So to cater for the people that just wanted tint art and just like tint art but don't actually want engraving, um, I've come out with my own tint range, all designed by me. Um, so I spent quite a bit of time working on these, perfecting them and whatnot, but essentially what it is is a full adhesive transparent film, fully clear, and um, the designs are printed onto it in black. So yeah, they're pretty cool. If you are interested in some of these, uh, you can also head over to my website and check them out. But if you're not interested, that's okay too. On top of that, I thought I get a lot of questions in my comments and genuinely I do not have the time to answer all of them. <laughs> Sometimes I don't see them for months because I just have so, so much to do all the time. Um, my life is just a lot. <laughs> so I thought if any of you are interested um, in a Q&A, maybe in my one of my next uploads I could do a Q&A just to answer some questions. If you want to get to know me more, and you know you want to know how I got to where I am and stuff like that um, those are the type of questions that I'd be more than happy to film a video you know answering all of them and just I guess you know letting you guys into my life a little bit and getting to know me and who I am as a person <laughs> so if anyone's interested in that please comment below if I have enough questions I will film a video if I don't I'll probably scrap that idea but I just thought it might be a nice way to cover a bit more about me when so many people ask so much stuff and I never have the time to answer or if I do I'm so so late when I do it. <laughs> Alright so I'm going to end this video here but keep watching to the very end and I will add in some footage of my Odyssey with one light in. <laughs> um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of future uploads. I do plan to upload every Sunday, so 
I think I'm aiming for between 2 and 4 p.m. every Sunday. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm going with at the moment. So if you're interested in more videos and whatnot, feel free to subscribe to my channel and yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a fabulous day and a fabulous week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!